students welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sagar pandya and today we are going to study the next part of one of the most interesting and beautiful chapter of our syllabus that is chapter number 4 contemporary india challenges to peace stability and national integration let's begin so starting with the next part cross border terrorism in jammu and kashmir Now the Indian Independence Act 1947 was made. It provided that the rulers of the princely state had to take financial decision according to their own will whether to join India or Pakistan. Jaise maine abhi just bola tha. The problem in Jammu and Kashmir began with Pakistan sending tribal raiders with the support of army to force Maharaja Hari Singh. Abhi Maharaja Hari Singh kaun tha? Ye udhar ka Jammu and Kashmir ka king tha and wahan pe wo force karne lage. जब ही फोर्स करने लगे वो टाइम पे अच्छा उन लोगों ये पाकिस्तान ने फोर्स किया था हरि सिंह ने बोला कि यार अभी क्या करें अभी हम लोगों को कुछ तो करना पड़ेगा अभी मेरे पास इतना आर्मी नहीं है तो पाकिस्तान आया मेरे पास मुझे उसके साथ ज्वाइन नहीं होना तो मुझे सपोर्ट कौन देगा इंडिया सो हरि सिंह साइंड एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ असेशन मेकिंग द स्टेट अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन यूनियन आफ्टर विच इंडिया सेंड ट्रूप्स टू प्रोटेक्ट कश्मीर ये ऐसा टाइम था जब इंडिया ने तो रेडी बोला ही था कि भाई हम तो रेडी थे तुझे सपोर्ट करने के लिए एंड दैट इज वाई इंडिया में इंडिया में जब भी हम लोग इंडिया ने ये एक्सेप्ट किया था महाराजा हरि सिंह का जो वर्डिक था वो टाइम पे इंडिया का पार्ट नहीं बनाया था मतलब वो इंडिया का पार्ट था बट वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के थ्रू इट वॉज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉज नॉट फॉलोड देर वो टाइम पे इंडिया सेंड ट्रूप्स टू प्रोटेक्ट कश्मीर This resulted in the first India-Pakistan War, 1947-48. Again, the second war came across in 1965, where the infiltrators, with the hope that they would lead the people of Jammu and Kashmir to rise against India, वो same चीज हुआ. However, when Pakistan actually attacked in 1965, the local population did not support Pakistan. Next, in 1965, Amanullah Khan created the Plebiscite Front in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. What is Plebiscite? Public voting. Kia. The organization had an unofficial armed wing called as National Liberation Front, which carried out sabotage activities in Jammu and Kashmir. What is sabotage? A violent activity. In 1977, the Plebiscite Front was given a new name, that is Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front. 1989 में a national conference worker was shot dead and Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front kidnapped Rubia Said, the daughter of the Home Minister, the then Home Minister. The main demand of JKLF, that is Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front, was to create the independent state of Kashmir. So Pakistan decided to use Mujahideen to back the pro-Pakistan guerrilla groups such as Hizbul Mujahideen in Kashmir. The entry of pan-Islamist fighters into valley from Pakistan changed the color of insurgency. मतलब यहां से चेंजेस आना स्टार्ट हुआ द ग्रोथ ऑफ इस्लामिक मिलिटेंसी इन कश्मीर इन 1990s रिजल्टेड इन द माइग्रेशन ऑफ द पंडित दैट इज कश्मीरी पंडित पॉपुलेशन फ्रॉम कश्मीर द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज मेंटेन दैट टेररिज्म इमेनेटिंग फ्रॉम अक्रॉस इंडिया दैट इज इंट्रूडिंग अक्रॉस इंडिया बॉर्डर्स रिमेन्स द कोर कंसर्न इन इंडियन रिलेशन विथ पाकिस्तान The government hence argues infiltration from cross border. मतलब जो cross करके यहाँ पे आ रहे और यहाँ पे कुछ separatist activity, violence create करना चाहते हैं. This is mainly in Jammu and Kashmir, which is affected by the terrorist violence sponsored and supported across the border. So the Ministry of Home, Government of India, in its annual report of 2016-17 states the state of Jammu and Kashmir has been affected by terrorist and secessionist. violence sponsored and supported by cross border group for more than two and a half decades so it also says that pakistan has tried to radicalize matlab logo ko forcefully bola hai ki tum apna social group banao social media ke through tum apna uh, tumko kaise pakistan mein include hona hai wo batao but jammu and kashmir has seen a continuous period of instability because of this thing because logo ko independence chahiye tha wahan pe instability was fostered by cross border intervention in the form of militancy cross border intervention matlab india pakistan se matlab pakistan se india yahan pe jab bhi militancy aate the political support aate the violence create karne wale log aate the groups like hurriyat were one of them The disturbing feature of this conflict is the use of children for stone throwing and burning of schools by the militants was one of the worst effect. The next part that we are going to learn is left wing extremism in certain areas. 
लेफ्ट विंग एक्सट्रीमिज्म दैट एक्सट्रीमिज्म या वायलेंस जिसको बोलते हैं एक्सट्रीम वायलेंस क्रिएट करना द नेक्सलाइट मूवमेंट दैट इज नाउ रेफर्ड एज माओइस्ट और लेफ्ट विंग एक्सट्रीमिज्म हैज इट्स मेन सपोर्ट बेस अमंग्स द लैंडलेस एग्रीकल्चरल लेबर्स द लिट्स एंड ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज देर इट इज ऑल्सो स्प्रेडिंग इन टू अर्बन सेंटर्स एस्पेशली द ब्लू कॉलर वर्कर्स जितने भी ब्लू कॉलर वर्कर्स है वो लोग भी इंक्लूडेड हो जाते हैं इट सक्सीड्स वेर देर इज अन्स ऑफ इनजस्टिस एक्सप्लॉयटेशन ऑपरेशन एंड अ फीलिंग ऑफ निग्लेक्ट बाई द स्टेट मतलब वो वो जगह पे जहाँ पे इनजस्टिस है एक्सप्लॉयटेशन है ऑपरेशन दैट इज क्रोअल्टी है वो सब जगह पे ये लोग काम करते हैं The roots of Naxalite movement can be traced to the Telangana movement that was in 1946 to 51. सो so, ये जब भी तेलंगाना पेजेंट्स आर्म्ड स्ट्रगल चालू हुआ था जहाँ पे फीमेल्स को इम्पोर्टेंस दिया था इट वॉज फर्स्ट सीरियस अटेम्प टू प्रमोट अ पेजेंट स्ट्रगल बाय द कम्युनिस्ट द मूवमेंट डिड गेन एन इनिशियल सक्सेस बट द मोमेंटम ऑफ द मूवमेंट एंडेड विद द लैंड रिफॉर्म्स इनिशिएटेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट सो लैंड रिफॉर्म्स मतलब चेंजेस आया गवर्नमेंट ने सपोर्ट किया नेक्सलिज्म बिगेन एज अ प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट फ्यूडल ऑर्डर इन नाइनटीन एट नक्सल इन वेस्ट बेंगाल स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली ये सब जगह पे स्प्रेड हुआ एंड एट एन आइडियोलॉजिकल लेवल द रूट्स में बी ट्रेस्ड इन द राइटिंग ऑफ चारू मजूम द जर्नलिस्ट हुज आर्टिकल्स वर बेस्ड ऑन आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ मार्क्स लेनिन एंड माओ काल मार्क्स लाडिमिर लेनिन एंड माओ से तुंग और माओ जे डोंग जिसको बोलते हैं फ्रॉम चाइना मार्क्स एंड लेनिन वर कम्युनिस्ट फ्रॉम रशिया एंड माओ जे डोंग वॉज फ्रॉम चाइना कम्युनिज्म के ऊपर This movement lost its momentum in the 70s after the arrest of Mazumdar and government policies of non-tolerance of the agitation was done the later on part in 1980s it was revived once again and has eventually taken a military turn finally in 2004 the naxalite groups the communist party of india marxist leninists and other similar groups joined together form communist party of india maoist the unified cpi maoist that is communist party of india maoist party what did they do they represent unified org- uh, organizational network based on ideological foundations of marxism leninism and maoism the thoughts of karl marx the thoughts of vladimir lenin and mao zedong ministry of home affairs observes the development work including yahan pe ye sab observe karte the the efforts which are made by the left wing extremists to prevent execution and implementation of development works including infrastructure like railways roadways power and telecom through violence and terror the main purpose the main purpose of all these things were that is to show the government structures at field levels as being ineffective maoist operations are based primarily in the rural and underdeveloped areas of india matlab ye maoist kon hai ye wohi naxalites hai jinko jo development lana tha wo changes lana zaruri tha to unhone ye ek sath milke unhone changes lane ka expectations rakha tha areas that lack communication facilities are generally forested or have difficult terrain where security forces cannot operate with impunity that is in a proper manner are areas of operation of naxal groups some of their broad, uh, broad act tactics are as follows like use of propaganda slogans jo unka demand hai uske slogans use karna establishment of mass movement mobilization of women trial uh, tribals and minorities into revolution mobilization the matlab inclusion also inclusion of urban population on mass issues the fifth part that is develop appropriate forms of military organizations the united nations reports the recruitment of use of children as young as 6 years of age by armed groups including the naxalite children were coerced coerced matlab forced to join the children's unit they were called as bal dasta kya bolte the bal dasta where they were trained and used as couriers as informants to plant improvised explosive devices and in front of in front line operations against national security forces matlab basically they were working for what they were working they were brainwashing the children and that was worst The report also noted that the abduction of children especially girls by armed groups was a serious concern by that time. The next part that we are going to learn is terrorism.
so what was it all about let us learn now terrorism terrorism has been looked as at as a threat to use violence with an intention to create panic in the society basically terrorism hota kya hai ये वो लोग होते हैं जिन्होंने अपना एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बनाया होता है एंड अपने मोटिव के लिए दे क्रिएट फियर दे क्रिएट टेरर इन टू द माइंड ऑफ द पीपल सो इट इज अ डेलिबरेट दैट इज जान बूझ के पोलिटिकली मोटिवेटेड वायलेंस अगेंस्ट द सिविलियन टारगेट्स दीज टारगेट्स आर कॉल्ड सॉफ्ट टारगेट क्यों बिकॉज ये सिविलियंस है मतलब वो उनको हार्म नहीं करेंगे वैसा उनको ऐसा माइंड सेट रहता है अटैक्स ऑन बसेस ट्रेन्स और बस स्टेशन एयरपोर्ट सिनेमा थिएटर्स मार्केट्स मॉल्स एक्सेट्रा आर द टैक्टिक्स यूज द पर्पज इज यूजली टू क्रिएट पैनिक इन द पब्लिक एंड दैट इज वाई द टेररिज्म इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ वॉरफेयर जो उनके डिमांड के लिए मतलब वो नॉर्मली सॉफ्ट टारगेट लोगों को इनोसेंट पीपल को टारगेट करते हैं एंड इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ वॉरफेयर विच इज कॉल्ड एज असिमेट्रिक वॉरफेयर बिकॉज देर इज नो पैटर्न to the nature of violent attacks that are conducted jaise for example hum log ek pattern decide karte ki iske baad ye ho sakta hai ga ye hoega ye hoega but aisa nahi hota jaise war mein hum log karte ki bhai hum pehle kya ye uh, airplane leke jayenge wahan pe devastation kar denge 60% 70% military might khatam ho gaya uske baad hum hamare uh, army ko bhejenge ये पुराना तरीका था आज इन लोगों का कोई पैटर्न नहीं होता है द ट्रेडिशनल फॉर्म ऑफ टेररिज्म वाज स्टेट सेंट्रिक द फाइट वाज फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक पीपल फाइटिंग फॉर देयर राइट्स अगेंस्ट द स्टेट फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे एल टी टी ई द असासिनेशन ऑफ राजीव गांधी वर फाइटिंग फॉर द राइट्स ऑफ तमिल्स इन श्रीलंका आयरिश रिपब्लिक आर्मी आई आर ए फॉर्ट फॉर द राइट ऑफ द आयरिश पीपल बास्क फादरलैंड एंड लिबर्टी also called as ETA separatists fought for their right against the Spanish government so modern form of terrorism is not state centric aaj unko jo ideological differences rahega jo unka belief rahega uske basis pe apne hisab se modern day terrorism chalta hai these goals may be religious in nature they are usually part of some organizations that fight at global level when they fight at global level The New York attack of 9/11 as we say 11th of September 2001 popularly called as 9/11 attack is considered the beginning of modern day terrorism the Nigerian terrorist group Boko Haram the Afghan Taliban group are some of the greatest example for these terrorist activity now when we talk about terrorist activity to itne sare terrorist activities hum log dekhte hain agar hum log ye sab terrorist activity dekhte hain the next part that we are going to learn is the role of state the role of state public order peace and stability are one of the critical necessity matlab agar itna sara terrorism ho raha hai like taliban afghanistan control kar raha hai terrorism are targeting the soft targets that is the people so agar itna sara questions aa raha hai uske samne how are the state government doing work like for example state government matlab how is the state working matlab the central government working an unruly society would lead to an economic disaster economic disaster matlab jahan pe terrorism ho raha hai obviously wahan pe society mein stability rahega ki instability rahega instability rahega economic stability rahega ki instability rahega instability rahega mental stability rahega ki instability rahega instability rahega matlab the quality of life of our citizen is in great measure dependent on these things and this was necessary which which creates a measure which will be dependent upon the maintenance of all different public order hence this thing is inevitable inevitable matlab unavoidable unavoidable hai which creates a difference maintains a difference between the maintenance of order and the conflict resolution that is one of the main reason jahan pe conflict resolution matlab next terrorist activity ko control karne ka power tere paas hai ki nahi hai agar hai to kis tarah se tum kar rahe ho that is more important this conflicts are managed properly like the likelihood of breaches of peace order and stability is minimized so that is why when we see all these part there are many changes that have come across the third level the first level the second level we see that there are different levels and there are different roles of the state that we'll be learning that you can see in page number 46 of the chapter and i'll just post the table at the end of this slide all right so we'll end this part here today dear students that's it from my side thank you so much like share comment and subscribe to the youtube channel 
Take care. Stay blessed. All the best for your exams. Bye-bye.